Hi, this is Laura Chappell from Wireshark University. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Pilot, which is the network troubleshooting, visualization, and reporting tool that's integrated with Wireshark. Pilot was created by Case Technologies. And Case Technologies is interesting because that's where Gerald Combs, the creator of Wireshark, works. That's also where Loris Degioani and Gianluca Vareni work. And both of those guys are the ones who created WinPCAP. Let's go take a look at Pilot. When you start up Pilot on the right hand side, you'll see the main workspace. On the left hand side, you will see the control panel. At the top, you will see two options, devices and files. And this is where we're pulling our data from. Down below, we have the views, and we're applying those views to the data. I can either get data live from a device, such as the Air PCAP adapters that I have on my system. I have two Air PCAP adapters on my system, or from my Ethernet network interface card. I can also apply views to files. In this case, I'm going to add a folder. I have a folder on my E drive that contains trace files for analysis. There's my trace file directory. Open it up and we can see. Now they are not imported into here, but they're just created as a pointer. So there you can see where the trace files reside. If a trace file isn't in the proper format, you'll see that it comes up grayed out and italicized. Down below, this is where I can choose how I want to look at the data. So I want to create an overview visualization of, let's say, hmm, let's go to, oh, well, there's a trace file up here called Active Scan. I'll click and drag Overview up to Af Active Scan, and there is my overview of the Active Scan traffic. At the top, I have a strip chart, I also have a bar graph, and then I also have what's called a conversation ring. I can click and drag this timeline across the bottom of my strip chart and if I want to look a little closer at one particular point in this file I can click and drag across that time right mouse click and send that information straight over to Wireshark. Now I'm just looking at the packets that were at that particular point in that trace file. We can only do that click and drag and send to Wireshark when we're in a trace file view not in a devices view. Now I want to look at some other information. So let's go under generic and one of my favorite views is the protocol distribution in bits or bytes or packets. Now because active scan is selected on top I can just double click on one of these views and it will bring it up. Now I can see some problem down in the bottom left hand corner I can see that the, there are a lot of different applications on this network that I don't normally see. For example this network typically does not see telnet traffic so I'm going to click on the telnet traffic and it typically doesn't see R Sun RPC traffic. I'm going to control left click on the Sun RPC traffic. At this point I'm going to right mouse click and send that information over to Wireshark. Now I'm just looking at the traffic going to port 23 and port uh, 111 and we can see that this is a scan operation. There are the SYN packets and the resets, the rejections. I'll close that trace file and I'm going to make a note because I'm going to create a report on this in just a moment. And I want to tell these folks that we have some unusual traffic. We have some strange traffic on this network. It appears we have Telnet and Sun RPC scans taking place. We can put notes on any one of these visualization windows by clicking this line right down at the bottom and putting in whatever we want. I'll bring these back down so we have a little more room to work in. Now I mentioned before one of the other things we can do is we can capture traffic live. And at this point I'm going to configure my two Air PCAP adapters so that I can apply some visualization to the live traffic. I'll select channels and the first Air PCAP adapter I'm going to lock to channel 6. Now the second Air PCAP adapter I could have it scanning all the other channels or I could lock it to a specific channel. I'm going to lock it to channel 11. Now I'm ready to apply a view to the live traffic. I'll select protocol distribution in bits, click and drag it up to the Air PCAP adapters. Now remember once that is selected up above I could double click to see any of that information. So I'll double click conversations now. Now I'll be able to see the MAC layer conversations, the IP conversations, TCP, UDP and ICMP conversations on channel 6 and channel 11. 
Now at this point I'm ready to do some reporting for my customer. So now I'm going to pause my view. I'll select the reporting tab. I'm going to send a report out in a PDF format. And I want all views to be included in my report, so I'll click the All Views button. Now keep in mind, the more tabs that you have open, the longer it's going to take to create this report. And here's my lovely network analysis report. On the left hand side I can see I've got a full table of contents. There's my overview that shows me what I was looking at. And there's my protocol distribution in bits. If I wish I can go to a specific section in here. My TCP protocols. There's that ugly TCP protocols information. And up above there's my note. We have some strange traffic on this network. It appears we have Telnet and SunRPC scans taking place. There's my conversations area, MAC layer conversations, IP conversations, TCP conversations, UDP conversations, and there, was, there weren't any ICMP conversations. So Pilot is a pretty hot tool. Those of you that have worked with Wireshark for a long time know that we've really been missing this graphical interface. But now we've got a tool that delivers.